Okay. On example number six, right, example number six <clears throat> is very common if you are in the construction site, right? So although you're studying mechanical engineering, but don't surprise, uh, maybe some of you, you might land your job in a civil uh, industry, right? So civil also need a mechanical engineer. Huh? So um, what you have here is just a normal piling process. You have a hammer hitting a pile, a pylon or a pile uh, into the sand. And the distance before the impact is 0.5 meter. Before start, eh? initial distance between these two is Y0, 0.5 meter. And you are given data. Eh? You are given data in this question. So from the question itself, actually you can guess already. From if you get the datum in the question, normally it will link to energy, right? Especially potential energy. Because potential always have positive and negative, right? Above datum positive energy, below datum negative energy. That one is uh, potential. Right? Okay, go back to the example six. You have object H and P. H represent hammer. P represent pound. So given the mass, pound mass is 800 kilogram. is driven from the ground using 300 kilogram hammer. The hammer fall from rest. The hammer fall from rest. You know the V before velocity of the hammer before it start. So you have V1 for object 1 at the height of y, 0, 0 0.5. You have 0 0.5, huh? very, very small. And strike the top of the pound. Determine the impulse. It asks you to determine the impulse which the pound asserted on the hammer if the pound is surrounded completely with loose sand. What I mean by, what I mean by this statement will help you to solve. The pile is go into loose sand. What happened when you when you put something in the loose sand? Is there any resistance? Is there any resistance to the object? If you have loose sand, you put an object inside a loose sand, it will accept whatever you push in, right? So there's no resistance. Right? When there's no resistance, then uh, something happened to the energy. The energy was absorbed uh, by the by the sand. Um, so that after striking, the hammer does not rebound from the pound. After it strike, the hammer do not rebound. Do not rebound off. So this one will tell you the velocity after the striking. So let's draw free body diagram. So I put the original diagram on the right hand side. And then we draw free body diagram. I forget to hide these two arrow here. Okay, free body diagram. The hammer does not rebound. I highlight this. So when it doesn't rebound, what happened to the two body? I label this color exactly as hammer. Pow, I use blue color. So after it hit, it doesn't bounce, so we stick together. So again, I draw two arrow. Huh? So the hammer strike, there's a force on the red arrow, this one. Eh? The bottom one is for hammer. The top one is for the power. Eh? They hit together. The force will act on the surface. So here I put minus R and R just to uh, give myself a little bit of convenience. In my case, my Y is going down positive, just to make myself a little bit easy. Huh? Going down because movement of hammer is going down. I always follow my movement. My movement go down, I give positive value for it. Okay, so that's why. Hey, sorry. No, in this case, uh, okay, in my slide, this slide, yeah, huh? in my slides, my Y is positive, going up. Sorry, yeah. So, uh. Datum here to here. Oh, this one is forcer. 
this is false. Uh, sorry, the negative here is the false, the opposite false and each other. Uh. My y, yes, my y going down positive and velocity go down also positive. Yeah, okay, you agree with the, the motion that you have. Okay, so free body diagram, you have the forces, two forces on the each body, the hammer and the pound, each one have forces. Um, even, even here, you don't need to write negative also can, as long as your arrow direction is correct. Then when you do a calculation later, you assume where is your positive direction? Then automatic, it will change the force into your calculation. Huh? Any question on the free body diagram before you move forward? Everyone okay? Yes, so far okay, sir. All right. So this is a side note. From the physical aspect, during the short time, from just before and just after the collision, very short time, and before you stroke and after you stroke, it happened in very, very short time. So the forces of the stroke going up uh, is, can say, near to zero. Okay. Your work of your power also zero work of your power of your power because the power uh yes move into the 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 sun this one is a uh, w sorry w w is weight uh, weight of the hammer sorry weight of the hammer and power resistant force they are non-impulsive so here we put as zero I miss out one. Yeah. Weight of the hammer and the pound is zero because they are non-impulsive. Uh, impulsive force R is given. In this case, it's the two R. So they join together because the question asks, uh, already tell us hammer does not rebound. So we join. Right. Either it, either you will see the wording uh, coupled, coupled means joined together, or another meaning joined together means do not rebound. Okay. Do not rebound. Or if it doesn't mention, then it becomes example number five that you see just now. Okay. So these two are internal, become internal already, so it cancel each other. Momentum is conserved in very short time. So this is how you write the conservation of momentum. Before on the left hand side, right hand side is after you have two body, right? So they have two body, MAV1 plus MAVB1 equal to MAVA2, MAVB2. Okay. So hammer, Hammer of, okay, we'll modify, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, so you change the A to hammer, means the general equation here. I change it A object as hammer, so I change it to H, H for hammer. B is our power, so P, P, right, same it here. A become H, B become P, and from here, we know that velocity of hammer at number two after his stroke will equal to the power after his stroke, right? After his stroke, both move together. After after this hammer hit power, question say doesn't rebound, so it both move together. So uh, V H and V P actually is the same. It's V two. So you substitute the value. 
mass of hammer, you know, velocity before, you know, from rest, right? So this one, zero. Mass of the power, you know, uh, here. VP, VP, you don't know. Uh, VP also doesn't move, right? Before start. So MH, you know, VH2 is the same like VP. So this one plus this one multiplied by V2. Uh, VP1, do you know the speed? Okay, then you rearrange. You get V2 equal to 0.8 meter per second. Okay, next we look at impulse and momentum. We look at the hammer. So hammer, if you look at the hammer, there are two forces. One is the weight, one is the resultant acting on the face of the hammer. Y is going down, positive, velocity going down. So When you write the free body diagram uh, combined with the principle of impulse and momentum, what is principle of impulse and momentum? Momentum plus impulse before equal to momentum after. Again, from here you see how we apply the principle of impulse and momentum again. Every time we apply principle and impulse momentum on individual body. Okay principle of impulse, impulse and momentum, we apply on individual body. So MAV, M, MV1 for A equal to impulse equal to MAV2. Okay. So you have the force, uh, you have the MV2, Okay, so here we need to find our velocity VA1 here. So how do you find VA, VA, VA1? You use conservation of energy by using the datum given in the question. So T, uh, kinetic before, potential before, equal to kinetic after, potential after. Of course, you can write this one, 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 two, two. Okay, one, one, two, two. Why I modified the question, the answer into zero, zero, one, one? Because the question give me Y zero. I just follow Y zero. But of course, in your answer, you can write one, one, two, two. You just need to know that this one is the initial. Right? On the left, on the left is before, on the right is after. I just modified the equation a little bit according to the question. Because the question gave me y0. So before I use the 0, 0 here. Okay. So I expand the uh, kinetic equation mv square hammer and the potential of hammer. Potential hammer is w uh, m gh right mgh wy zero your h is y o equal to mh v square h1 plus mgh y1 this is from the conservation of energy equation kinetic potential kinetic potential why there is no why there's no Pauling here? Why Pauling doesn't consider here? So, before stroke, because the hammer start from rest, zero, W equal to mg, 
y 0.5 meter after same 300 velocity you need to find so this equation only left out one unknown here which is the hammer sorry uh, hammer after the stroke right so remember just now the velocity so from here you can find your v1 equal to 3.132 huh? your hammer your hammer velocity huh? equal to 3.132 just take note in your division notes there huh? v after you do the calculation for this one you square root that the answer you'll get v1 equal to 3 point something eh? so once you find v1 and v2 back to the principle of impulse momentum that you write just now ma v1 plus impulse plus momentum after okay so you substitute the answer m for hammer v three point something you find just now in pause you need to find All right because the question asks you to find the impulse right so in pause you need to find Mom momentum m still same 300 v1 uh, v2.82 right 0.82 you just find so here you rearrange the equation find the impulse the impulse will equal to three uh six something 683 newton second again uh, unit for impulse is force multiplied by time what is the unit for force newton what's the force uh, what is the unit for time second so force time newton second okay okay i think we I think we stop here, right? I think we stop here. Next class, we look at impact. Huh? Next class, we look at impact. Okay, let me stop the recording.